Ciao everybody, it's Katerina here. Welcome to my home on this beautiful day. Fall is in the air and I just love the fall season, especially for all the fresh produce that's out there. And my parents asked for my butternut squash soup. And of course I said, absolutely. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have two butternut squash sliced in half and cleaned. I have four apples. I love apples in my butternut squash. They've been cored and cleaned. And I have here two sweet onions. Okay, I'm going to salt them. Preheat your oven at 375. Now I'm going to put some pepper. I have about a cup of olive oil. And to this I'm going to add about half a cup of honey. To my honey and olive oil mixture, I'm just gonna put just a little, little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix everything together. Okay, I'm just gonna coat everything each piece individually, a generous amount of this mixture on each piece. Okay, my, it's done, everything's coated. Use the entire mixture because it's going to add incredible flavor to this soup. In the oven it goes for about 50 minutes. I will check it. Okay, so while my um, butternut squash is baking, I'm going to get the garnishes ready. Here I have, I love pistachio with butternut squash. So all I'm going to do is, is um, loosely chop them. It's loosely chopped. I'm going to put it here and the guests can help themselves. They can put as much as they like on top of their soup. Okay, I also like to add fresh thyme along with my um, pistachios that you can put on top of your butternut squash soup. So I'm just going to prepare it. Okay, now my thyme is ready for the garnish. So you have an option of both or just one or the other once the soup is done. Okay, they're cooked. I've left, I left them in for about, it worked out to be about an hour. Now I'm just gonna let it cool for a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop everything inside the soup pot and leave the core behind. Same thing with the apple. All you want is just the meat of the apple. You don't want any of the peel. Okay. So this is everything here. Now we're ready to start with our soup. I have my heat on medium to high. Now I'm going to add eight cups of chicken stock. I'm going to put in two pieces of the uh, Parmigiano Reggiano rind. I put it in all my soups and all my sauces. I'm just giving this a really good mix and I'm going to let everything simmer for about half an hour. Soft, everything's cooked together. Now what I'm going to do is put the immersion blender through it. I love the Immersion Blender. It just makes everything so much easier. How wonderful, beautiful, smooth, delicious butternut squash. Now I'm gonna add a full can of coconut milk, organic co coconut milk. Okay, now that I've added the coconut milk, I'm going to let it simmer for about half an hour at medium heat. It's coming along beautifully. It's so silky and creamy. I added another half a teaspoon of black pepper and another half teaspoon of salt. Okay, half an hour has gone by. I've turned the stove off and now I'm going to add some nutmeg. Okay, so now we're ready to plate it. I'm just going to taste it for you. I have these beautiful pumpkin bowls. I just love them. I love uh, de decorating with the seasons. Now you can eat it as is. 
but I'm going to show you how I like it. So I filled it up to half. Now I'm going to add these little homemade croutons that I made. I think I'm going to add three. Now I have some provolone cheese. I'm going to put it on top. You can use any cheese you like. I just love provolone cheese. And now I'm going to cap it off with more soup. Top, I'm going to add a little bit of pistachios, just a little bit, and a little bit of thyme. There. And my soup is ready. I'm going to taste it for you. I'm going to taste it for you. Oh, I got a little bit of cheese. Delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, so creamy. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so delicious. You really must make this. It's the perfect time, Thanksgiving. It's, it's a wonderful soup. It's Katerina from my home to yours.